Hi, good day. Consumer behavior in marketing refers to the actions and decisions that people make when they are purchasing products. This scene shows their two cultural beliefs about eating chicken blood or street foods because it's against their culture and religion. This next scene, the girl was her friends, inviting her to eat the street foods. But she remembered what her mother told her, that eating street foods is against their beliefs. Marketers have had better luck linking people's self-concept to their buying behavior. Your self-concept is how you see yourself, be it positive or negative. Your ideal self is how you would you like to see yourself, whether it's muscular, more popular, more eco-conscious, or more conservative. This scene shows two individual person with ideal self-concept. Ideal self-concept is focus on personal goal and personal ambition in the future.
rich and family. I think they prefer to buy things that are good for their family and for their loved ones. Um, thank you, Ma'am Riza. How about you, Ma'am? What's your name? Hi, my name is Barbie Clay Garcia. Okay, uh, same question with Ma'am Riza. What do you think are the factors that affect consumer buying behavior? So, the factors that Consumer behavior influences consumers' choices, actions, and attitudes toward marketplace. Maslow hierarchy of needs is a theory of motivation that states that five categories of human needs dictate an individual's behavior. And it also, Maslow hierarchy of needs is a go-to model that explains the psychology of human motivation. It will help you spend less time guessing what makes your people tick so that you can spend more time doing the things that motivate them. McGuark Psychological Motives is classification system that organizes theories of motives into 16 categories. The system will help marketers to isolate motives likely to be involved in various consumption and situations. The 16 categories of basic motives divided into four basic groups based on four categories on two broad criteria. What is informational influence? It refers to new information or argument provided in a group discussion that change a group member attitude, beliefs, or Behavior. Reference group influence have three forms. The first one is the informational influence. The second one is normative influence. And the last one is identification influence. And also, a function of attitude that, that allows the individual to express his or herself. The second is normative influence refers to the fact that people sometimes change their behavior, thoughts, or values to be liked and accepted by others. And the last one is identification influence. Is when people are influenced by someone who is like and respected. It's my Lafrancanawa Institute, and today I will be conducting an interview with Mr. Darren Terriompo, Chief Manager of Tokyo Tokyo in Victor Mall, Tanawa City, Batangas. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions about consumer behavior. So for number one question is, what do you do to build relationship with new and existing customers? For new customers, kasi mas pinapakita namin sa kanila yung Japanese culture, yung Japanese hospitality na mas doon nga nakikilala ang mga hapon. So parang inadapt namin dito sa Tokyo Tokyo para mas may lapit sa mga Pilip, sa Pilipino, sa Pilipinas ang culture ng Japanese. And by that, sa product quality, sa service, sa speed, so inaayos lang yung service namin para bumalik din yung mga new customers. And for the existing is, ayun, same lang din. Nagbibigay din kami ng mga minsan mga promo within LSM para bumalik sila sa store namin. Sir, thank you for number two question. Give me an example of the time when you have had to deal with irate or angry customer. What did you do and how did the situation? 
Um, there was a time na may isa kaming customer na may complete regarding sa product quality. And sa Tokyo Tokyo, may standard kasi kami pag nag-handle ng mga complaints. So, may tinatawag kami please philosophy. So, una is, pinapakinggan namin yung customer sa kaming mga complaint niya. Then, second is, pinipin kami ng apology sa kanya. Then, after is, nagsasatisfy kami with extra it's food or extra mga it's certificate para lang makompensate din yung yung complaint ni customer. And last time is medyo critical na rin kasi yung issue. Kaya pinakit na sa side office. And so far so good. Eh, natapos naman siya and na-disclose naman na maayos yung complaint ni customer. Na-sold? Na Na-sold na. Ano po? Umalik po ba ulit? Umalik naman si customer. Naging naman namin yung loyalty ni customer. Let's go. Ano po? Number three question is, what are the strategies for you and your company used to attract and retain customers? And, sabi ko nga kanina sa question number one, isa sa... King of Tokyo is yung Japanese hospitality, yung omotinashi na tinatawag. So, pinapakita namin kay customer yung fast service, then product quality. And aside from that, may innovation din naman si Tokyo. Hindi lang siya nag-stick sa isang, isang product. So, kung anong, kung saan, for example, sa mga sa target market namin, which is mga adults and individuals na gusto mag gusto mag ano mag experiment ng food yun pinikita namin yung mga ganong mga service para mas balikan kami ni Yes, malaki yung effect ang behavior sa isang customers. And, syempre, doon nag-reflect yung service and performance ng isang store kung masasatisfy si customer kung ano magiging approach niya sa store. And, in fact, may mga projects si Tokyo na humingi ng mga service, nagpapasagot ng mga service kay customer para malaman namin yung feedback and behavior ng customer to crew and crew to customers. Thank you so much, sir.